Hello Excel friends. We're going to work through the next section on the Excel Expert Exam Study Guide. This is the practice task for section 1.2, which is on managing workbook review. Let's get started. All right, so we are going to follow the instructions here for the practice task. And at the first arrow there, we are going to open the Excel 1.2a workbook. So we have this highlighted in Windows Explorer here. We'll double click it to open it up and we have it open now. So the first task is to unlock the cells in the range C3 to C7. So I'm going to start in cell C3. I'm going to hold shift and the down arrow to select all the cells in the range that they specified. Uh, now we need to unlock them. And so to do that, I'm going to hit control shift F which is going to bring up my format cells dialog window. I'm going to control page down until I get to the protection tab of this dialog box. And you'll see here, I'm going to use a, a keyboard shortcut, but you'll notice here it says that this is toggled to the locked position. Underneath the L there, it's underlined, which means that I can use my keyboard, Alt L, to toggle that locked on or off. So I'm going to toggle that so that it is no longer checked, meaning that it is unlocked, and then hit OK. Next, we're going to activate our worksheet protection. And so in order to do this, we are going to go to the Review tab. Instead of using my mouse, I'm going to hit Alt-R, which puts me on the Review tab. And Protect Sheet is right over here. And I can use my keyboard shortcut PS to open up the dialog box for this. Now we've been instructed not to add a password to this, so I will leave this blank. We will leave where it says here, protect worksheet and contents of locked cells. So we're going to leave that protected. Okay. And in the bottom section here, we're going to allow people to select these unlocked cells. I'm going to click OK here. All right, so now let's check this out. So if I select other cells in the workbook, so you can hear me clicking here and I'm unable to select anything. However, I can select the cells inside this range of C3 to C7. Even when I use the arrow keys, all it does is rotate me through just the cells in this unlocked range. And I, if I want, I can change these. So if I change that to 5%, sure enough, it still works. I'm going to change it back as to 7% where it started off at. Now, they tell us to save it, and I don't really like saving it as is. So we're going to hit the Save As Control, which is going to be Function uh, F12 or the F12 key for you. And for the name, I am going to leave it as 1.2A, one one but add my VCG. You can put your initials in there. That way we still have the original file in case we want to go back and uh, practice this once again without having to download it from the website where we got it from. So I'll hit save here and you'll notice now up at the top that this is saved as 1.2a with my version CG. And let's compare it to the, uh, the sample document. So we're going to open up that file, I'm going to try uh, Control O here. I'm going to go into my folder, Objective 1, and we will open up the 12A results file. I'll move it in here so everyone can see it. And same thing when I click in the window here, nothing happens. When I click inside that range of C3 to C7, I am able to make adjustments. Let's add a $10,000 balloon payment, and sure enough, the worksheet is working. And I'm not going to make any changes to there. So that wraps up this quick section here. You can continue on to the next video if you want right now. Um, I'll just give you a little bit of context on why we might want to lock cells when using Excel. So one example is, uh, in some of my positions, I've had to share work workbooks with other users. Uh, within my firm or for some of the companies that I've consulted for. So what we can do is I can, you can lock these cells down so that when you send it to someone, 
one, they're not going to be confused as far as what they can or can't do. They're going to be able to get it. They're not going to be able to click on any of these other settings that aren't going to do them any good anyways. They're not going to go into a cell and delete a formula that uh, it's required for the worksheet to operate properly. It, it effectively keeps them out of trouble. And we're not doing this necessarily to keep things a secret. Uh, as you recall, there's not even a password on this one. So if, if someone wanted to, they could get in. But whatever we can do to prevent those sorts of things from happening is a good idea. So thanks for watching. Uh, continue on to the next video. And, and please subscribe. Uh, also, any feedback or comments as far as what you'd like to see or what you'd like to see me do differently as I go through these would be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much. And this is Craig with Kershalton Advisory.